I've been walking about today and finding quite a lot of this, what I think is a very beautiful plant, hedge woundwort. I'll show you how to identify it and why you may wish to use it. If it also, like me, in the countryside quite a lot, you will see this growing up and you might think, wow, it's really pretty. The bees love it. And you might see it often grow next to nettles. So the leaves are similar in shape. You've got this sort of serration on the edge here coming to a point and they grow, you see, opposite to each other going up the stem. But whereas with a, a nettle you can touch it but you might not want to rub your fingers on it because of the reaction from the formic acid being released. Hedge woundwort is fine to just rub like that and you've got a very soft downy feel to the leaves. And when you rub them, and you just smell your fingers, it's a very pungent, uh, almost bitter smell. This plant is from the mint or dead nettle family, Lamiaceae. So things like ground ivy, um, you know, your common herbs like rosemary, mint, obviously, sage, they all have this lovely aromatic smell to them. And this is obviously not so familiar uh, to us, but it has that distinctive smell which helps you recognise it. You can also see, uh, you see here, it's got a square stem and plants in the mint family have this square stem. If you look here at the flowers, you see they're coming up a flower spike here, and they have a top and lower lip. So you can see they're very pretty, they have this quite delicate patterning and this is to guide the bees, like a landing strip almost. To the flower and if you look at the flowers of rosemary and plants like uh, purple dead nettle ground ivy they all have this sort of distinctive flower shape and these little bits of patterning just another one growing up here so you might think well what do i use this plant for well wound war is kind of a good indicator isn't it really so for the wounds so if you had a minor wound a bite a sting insect bite you know uh, graze using the leaves as a poultice like you might with yarrow or plantain and, uh, bees getting in there so you would use this as a poultice and it would help stem bleeding so it's a vulnerary herb so looking at stemming bleeding and healing wounds close relative obviously of marsh wound what as well which is very similar but uh, light pink flowers. The Latin name for this plant is uh, Stachys sylvatica and I love it because Stachys means flower spike and sylvatica means of the woodland so you're looking at a, you know, a flower of the woods. Isn't it beautiful? And it's June now so it's kind of in flower, it's looking very healthy, very vibrant, you know, in its full strength. And these flowers then will start to fade as the season goes on. Another way people use this is to uh, the flower will be produced by seeds but also by runners. So when the runners get towards the end of the season, they enlarge like the tubers. So people would dig these up and they would boil them up and eat them and it would be a good food source and they have a nutty taste to them. So you would uh, come down here and dig up the plant. Obviously don't dig up plants in other people's land, you need permission. But uh, that's another use of uh, the woundwort, hedge woundwort, marsh woundwort. And in the days when we didn't have food so readily, it was very useful to know where you could find a food source. There you have it, hedge woundwort.